Hello and welcome to the robot course. Today we will go through base coordinates and the linear movement type. Last episode we learned about the flex pendant and the axis of the ABB arm robot. So the next step for you to learn is linear movement. And if we think about the metaphor between our human arm and the robot arm. When we want to pick up the fruit, we just want to move our arm forward and grab it, right? We don't focus on which joint we are going to move. Oh, I'm going to use my wrist like this and move my shoulder forward together with my elbow. No, we, we think about the destination. So they have this movement type that you can select from the movement type panel on the flex pendant. It's called linear movement. This makes it so that you can move it in different directions instead of moving it axis by axis. Quite good. The flex pendant I use is in Swedish. So I will put English text over so you can understand. You need to use the linear movement type and the base coordinate system. If we look at the coordinate cube that I have placed on the robot and we trace the lines uh, in the different directions the cube shows, we can see the directions in which the robot will move in linear mode. So if we start with the red axis the Z axis, we can rotate the knob on the joystick to move it up and down along the Z axis. If we take the blue axis, we can move the joystick from left to right and it will move along the Y axis. Then if we trace the green axis, the x-axis. If we move the joystick forwards and backwards, we will go along the green axis. Okay, so now you know what the panel means when it says linear movement. But in the metaphor with our arm, is it's both the movement and the destination and the destination for a robot is not the same as our destination we we are not built from logic but a robot is and a robot has coordinates that defines the destination it will go to so if you already know coordinates you probably don't need to hear me explain them again so I try to film when me explaining coordinates and I'm not so good at it but I thought that there are many sources to learn this on YouTube so I picked one of my favorite creators I can't pronounce the name of the YouTube channel but it has a great explanation of coordinates that I will show you. Suppose we have a number. By changing the value of this one number, we can represent any point in a one-dimensional space. Now suppose we have two numbers. By changing the values of these two numbers, we can represent any point in a two-dimensional space. 
Now suppose we have three numbers. We can now represent any point in a three-dimensional space. In the base coordinate system on the APB robot, the coordinate system is referenced from the base of the robot, where the robot meets the foundation. And it's measured in millimeters, at least for me as a metric nerd. And if we were to estimate the position of uh, the pen nib in this picture, we could think of it as it's one meter towards us, so it's 1000 millimeters in X, and then it's a bit to the right of the base, so that means it's 250 millimeters in the Y direction. And the height of the pen nib is quite high, so it might be something like 1,200 millimeters high. And these are rough estimates, but you get the deal. Okay, so that was everything I had to say. Hope you learned something. If not, dislike or do whatever you want and leave a comment if you have any questions. Bye.